This is a horse chestnut. It's another tree that's been introduced to the UK. It was brought over in the 16th century and since then it's become a very popular tree. It gets planted in parks and cities. The Victorians used to have a chestnut Sunday in the middle of May in London where everyone would come out and picnic beneath the horse chestnut trees with these gorgeous candle-like columns of flowers and the deep shade it provides. It's a particularly pleasant tree to sit underneath. There's another reason why we like horse chestnut and that's because of the game of conkers. Conkers is a game that you play by sticking a conker, the fruit of the horse chestnut, on the end of a piece of string and then you hit your opponent's conker and the one who smashes his opponent's conker is the winner. Funnily enough, the game of conkers is much older than horse chestnuts being in the UK. We used to play conkers with different things before horse chestnuts came, like, for example, snail shells and so forth. But the horse chestnut got adapted for that use. There's various ways you can treat your horse chestnut. Different people have different ideas. Baking them is a good one. Storing them in vinegar is a good one. But actually, I think the very best way to do a good, strong conker is to leave it in a cupboard for a year and then bring it out next year. And those are particularly hard, but make sure you put a hole in it first. We tend to think of conkers as being mostly used by children for playing games, but there are actually several other possible uses for conkers. One thing you'll find is that they're quite good at deterring moths. So if you have a problem with moths in your cupboard, you can split some conkers open and put them in the bottom of the cupboard and it'll keep moths away, so it's said. It is also possible to eat them. If you make flour out of the conkers, you take the shell off it and you grind down the center, you need to leach it with plenty of hot water first to get the bitter taste out of it. And I'm not saying it makes great flour, but it is possible to make flour out of it. And the other use of horse chestnuts goes back to their origins in Turkey. And it's not just here that we call them horse chestnut. And it's, we don't call it that because it's a bad tasting chestnut either. They call it horse chestnut too, because what they use it for is to make a poultice. They make a mush out of it that they put on injuries for their, from their horses and their cattle. And what's recently been discovered is that there's a chemical that's present in conkers that is actually very good for treating aches and pains and bruises. And this is being commercially developed now. So the name horse chestnut points back towards an ancient veterinary practice that may well have some uses in the modern world.